real quickly about inspired action. Some of you may have seen the video that I posted. Hi, Dino. Seen the video that I posted about when I uh, sent the email about, you know, my early retirement. And there were some people in the comments that were saying that they quit too, but now they don't have no money. You know, what could they do? And I just recently replied to that particular video, you know. So there's a difference between acting, I would say kind of like out of emotions, right? Versus inspired action, like, right? So the difference really is you paying attention more to the things in the physical than you are paying attention to the momentum energetically of what's going on. And so you're looking through these eyes versus looking to your first eye, right? Your first eye is in tune to your higher self, God, infinite intelligence, whatever you want to call it, your ancestors, your, your, your higher self, whatever you call it. That's what your higher self or your, your, your inner being is connected to all of this knowledge. It knows everything, right? So when you are inspired by this source of energy that knows you, it's like being in tune with your mom, like, for example, like, you know, cause I'm the kind of mom, like my boys, they can't tell me something. Like they can't lie to me. I'm like, dude, you, you, what, what, what's going on? I know you, what, you lying. You can't even look at me. Look at you. You know, I know, I can sense. When, when they're around certain people, I'm like, oh, no, 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 he don't match your energy. That's, that's all. Where you got this dude from, you know? So it's like your mother just knowing what's best for you, so to speak, this, this infinite intelligence, right? So because you have this connection with this source, it'll give you little coincidences. It'll, it'll be like this little, little sweet voice that'll whisper to you in your ear saying, no, don't, don't do that. Go talk to him. No, it's not time yet. Calm down, calm down. It's going to be all right. It's kind of like the guidance from mother. Like mother will tell you, you know, what's, what she thinks is best for you, so to speak. Like, right? And so not only is she going to just tell you this, but you're going to feel that, oh, she's, she's saying this for the greater good, for me, for my journey. She's saying this because she got my back. She loves me and she's looking out for me. And she's also probably saying this because she has wisdom within her years. You know, maybe she didn't been through this here before. Maybe she has eyes to see some things that I'm not seeing just yet. That is inspired action when you hear that. And mama not gonna just tell you like one time. She'll kind of like tell you and then she'll probably t show you an example. And then she'll sit there with your friend or somebody, because you're going to get another kind of coincidence from mom on this infinite intelligence. And then when your friend come and they'll say the same thing that you were already thinking, this here allows you to be in a position where you can do the inspired action because everybody done said, look, you need to go in and do this thing. What you waiting on? You done had a dream about this thing. You feel good about this thing. And so you wake up in the morning, you throw the, you pull the covers off of you because you are inspired to do this thing. You gotta do this thing. You might even be scared to do this thing, but because you done got so many things that made you feel like you were in alignment, this is called inspired action. Now, some people like to do just action, just like they just large and in charge, they ego driven. Man, I'm about to do that. Da, da, da. Well, what made you want to do that? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to just do it. They didn't have no hunch. Mama didn't whisper in their ear. They didn't have no dream. They didn't plan for it. They didn't even know if it was in alignment with their passion or their pet purpose. They just doing stuff. That's them trying to lead without the higher self, without the voice of mother, the ancestors of God or whatever you reverence. And so it's almost like, you know, you're driving in a car with your friend and you so anxious to get out the car. <laughs> if you jump out the car when the car is going 55 miles an hour, you might hurt yourself because that's you doing your action. But if you wait, if you wait until the momentum and the energy is just right, you wait till that car slowed down and you could just 
step out, you won't hurt yourself, but you'll be in a flow mode to do whatever it is that you want to do to exit the car safely. But if you get on that car when it's going 55 miles, now you push back a little bit. Now you got to go to the hospital. Now you got to learn maybe how to walk again when you could have just jumped out the car and went about your business if you would have been inspired to get out the car because it stopped. But no, 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 you got to get out the car right now. No, 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 I'm jumping now. I'm doing it now. And so that kind of like puts you back a little bit. All is good and you could thrive even after this. But you will really want to do things through flow. And we, me and my boys, I mean, I just talk to my boys, just be real transparent with them. I call this the premature ejaculation. They don't like when I talk to them like this here, but I, it's like, it's like you just nothing all over the place. Just, just walling out all over the place. Calm down. Don't get so excited. It's about flow. It's about flow, not walling out. Ah! It's about flow. Because your higher self knows what your flow is. And it's gonna inspire you to go to flow. Let me tell you how many coincidences I had. I came in to, 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 to in that career. I came out here many times before the first time I came to this state. I said to the person I was with, oh wow, this feels like a place that I come and retire at. I didn't, I didn't have no intention of retiring early at that particular moment. I was like, oh, I love it here, so peaceful. The birds, they act like they know my name. They had these hummingbirds and it was almost like these things just knew me and they would come around me in, in, the, in the backyard and they would just like dance in the air around me. And I'm like, what the hell? And, they, and the person I was with, he was like, oh, they must really like you. They don't do that for me. And so I was like, oh, I'll be back. I went, I came back with another friend and we had a great time and then I went to a retreat and we had a great time and I went back home and I was at Walmart and it was this, this friend that I seen and hadn't seen since high school and she was like well I'm thinking about moving to Arizona and it's really nice out there and and the sun is just different she was just telling me all the things that I had just experienced that was a coincidence then I would go to bed at night and I would have dreams about the place then my house got de destroyed or damaged rather with Hurricane Ida and I had already been tired of rebuilding the same house so I was like oh well I know a place I can go to then my neighbor across the street was a realtor and she hooked me up to the realtor in Arizona then one of my neighbors down the street came to me just out the blue. I was just going check the mailbox. He was like, you know what? I think you would. You need to go to Arizona. You need to travel out there. You, I think that'll be a nice place for you. Just out the blue telling me these things. And so everything was just like, wow. And so even coming here, every time I traveled here, I always had a place to stay. I never really had to come out of my, my pocket. It was like the universe was yielded to me saying, God. That's when I put my inspired action to work and I went because everything with me coming this way was with flow. I didn't go and just say, oh, okay, I want to be here and it's just going to have to work out and I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know when I'm going to get this here or that there. I'm gonna fight against the current for a little while. No, I didn't wanna fight no currents no more in my journey. There's a difference. I had already been fighting currents in New Orleans, rebuilding the house all, all over the, again. So that was, I was tired of the currents. You gotta know when you're stepping out in the midst of the current coming against you, are you stepping out with flow? It's knowing the difference between inspired action or you putting your ego out there and doing what you want and not being aligned with the things that you were wanting. It's alignment or not. It's conscious of being or not. It's flow or getting your ass tossed by the waves in the current for a season. And it depends upon what you want in your journey. Now here's the thing, even though you get your ass beat in the, in the, in the current, you still gonna make it to shore, but why go to all of that when you could just flow? Why get beat up when you could just surrender and go through flow and say, oh, this is so beautiful. 
I'm allowing the universe, my higher self, to tell me, to lead me to right where I want to be. That's the difference. So I just wanted to share that because that video was not to encourage people to get out of their flow. If you notice in the video, I was saying, get things in momentum, write the letter. For example, I said in the video, live in the end of the wish fulfilled is another thing I said in the video. Do the mental work knowing that, Lord, I will not be here always. Do the inner talking to yourself with your habitual thoughts, the inner dialogue. When people are telling you things, you can rest assured in your mind. Well, this person doesn't know that I will be leaving, so. Yeah, or they don't know. I'm not going to tell them. Just, just within your inner voice, it'll be like a secret that nobody else knows. And nobody else needs to know what's going on in your thoughts. You need to have this going on inside of your thoughts, though, so these thoughts can become greater and greater and this momentum can build up to allow you, when you do take inspired action, for you to be led by inspired flow. <laughs> Y'all getting this here? That is so important. Flow is so important. It's so important in your journey. You can wild out if you want to. You God. You could go, go for more thrills and get out of flow if you want to. You never get the thing wrong. But why put yourself through that though? Because it, it becomes a little bit harder when you now in your mental, now you then step your ways about the car, for example. Now you all beat up. Cause you stepped out the call at 55 when you should have stepped out the call when they made the complete stop when you were in flow. You done stepped out at 55. Now you don't have money. You beat up. Now you got a medical bill. Now you're in pain. Now you don't know where you're going to live. And you got to think about all of these things because you stepped out of flow. You got to think about all these things. Now, not only do you have to live with an abundance mindset, but you got to think of abundance now mentally. You got to think about your um, wellness now mentally. You got you to gotta think about a roof over your head mentally in order to get out of that rut. And from somebody who used to, when I had a shitty diet, always not feel too well. When you are sick and you feel that damn pain in your body, that's a mental thing that's really challenging to do. Why put yourself through that mental challenge like that when you can be in flow? You got to think about that. So this journey, this conscious journey, a lot of people might not share with you this here part, but you got to master those emotions. You got to be in control of them emotions. Don't think for one second <laughs> that it was easy breezy in corporate America. Don't think for one second that I enjoyed all of those days. But in that moment, I couldn't get to a point where, you know what, after I quit it. I wouldn't bring myself to a point like that because I know that how I feel matters. I know that this conscious journey, if you want to call anything the so-called devil, you will call those feelings, those emotions that make you feel frustrated, that make you feel sick and tired, that make you feel anything lower than feeling neutral. Those are the things that I will call the so-called devil because they get you out of alignment with yourself. And yes, they attract. They allow you to attract and they allow you to get all kind of shitty things down here. But you want to get the good things up here. So you must stay in alignment. And the only way you can stay in alignment is if you're neutral and above. Neutral and above with the way that you feel. Because your higher self, your inner being, God or source energy, whatever you call it, it does not lower its frequency to come down here and to babysit you and to pat you on your back and to let you know that everything going to be all right. No, you have to rise and step up to it. And at its best, it is love. At its best, it is joy. It is bliss. It is abundance. It ain't going to think lack just to come and save your ass. You are the savior for your own ass. So you got to have your emotions in check. You got to. Or you're going to keep on getting shitty stuff. And you're going to keep on thinking, oh, they, they must be lucky. 
No, they in flow. They in flow with being joyous and happy and finding love and beauty. But it's so hard to find beauty when you're sick. It's so hard to find beauty when you done jumped out that car at 55 miles an hour because you wanted to do it your way instead of being in alignment with your higher self. I just wanted to share that with you because it really, really matters. And I want you all to be better than me. I want you to be able to thrive from, from the things that I share with you because you are me. You are a reflection of me just vibrating at a different frequency. So when you move, I move. When I move, you move. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. All right, let me check these comments because I just was running off at the mouth. Let's see. Okay. My buddy Josh King passed away recently. Could you sit in peace to Josh King for me? Oh. Josh King is just in another realm. The energy is just transferred to another realm where you cannot see, but Josh King's energy lives on and is with you. You carry it with you in your heart every day. But yeah, rest in peace to honor what you were saying. Rest in peace, Mr. Josh King. Good word, ma'am. Beautiful reminder right now. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Frederick. Let's say love. Do you mentor spiritual advisor? I always watch you and I've seen I've been drawn to you. Um, who is that? Zara? Zara1987? I do consultations if you visit my website. Um, we could talk about it. Uh, my website is www.southernrepub.org. Personally, like one-on-one -on -one mentorship, I have not done that before. But you could tell me what you, um, what you desire and I can help you and walk you through. I would love to do that. If you check out my profile, uh, click on my link, I mean my picture, there's a link to my website and just scroll down at the bottom and you'll see my consultations available. Yeah, hey Nubian, thank you for being here, babe. Come on, somebody. Oh, Tia, up in here. <laughs> thank you for being here, Tia, Tia. But yeah, that's really, okay, true. Hey, James. Hey, Shay. Okay, okay. All right, so I caught up on the comments. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because I, I wouldn't want to lead anybody, lead anybody astray in that area. I'm not saying jump and just wild out. I'm saying inspired action. And you know when it's inspired action it is because energetically they'll have a whole bunch of momentum that is built up and everything you'll be going through flow. I didn't, I was not fighting looking for money and resources. I was going through flow. I had already allowed time while I was there. Nobody knew that I was there getting a house built because I was being quiet. I was in my flow. I was being about my father's business. You know, I was attuning myself to the law of assumption. I was attuning myself to my right now reality. I was quantum jumping here. I may have been working there, but I had many days quantum jumped here. And so in the midst of it all, you got to find that thing also that you love. If you're in a shitty situation, you got to find the things that you love. They, everybody at work can't be an asshole in your physical reality. They just can't be because that defies the, defies the law of polarity where all things are two-sided. So if they have an asshole, if, if you have some assholes there, there got to be somebody or some people there that aren't assholes that you really like. How about you put your attention on them being around you and talking to them? How about you being happy or feeling happy that, oh, so-and-so came. He normally doesn't report to this office, but Jack came. Let's call him Jack. Jack came to the office today. Oh, I love talking to Jack. And when Jack comes over, we'll go to have lunch or whatever. And he really helps me with my projects and whatever. And so you ignore the assholes, per se, and you focus on the good. You find your passion, per se, or something that you like doing. Maybe you don't like Excel. Maybe you like PowerPoint. And so you get in, milk in the feeling of doing your little PowerPoint presentations and your slides and making the little audios or whatever and making it look 
you're so professional or whatever, and you have your little fly in art or whatever you do in your PowerPoint, and you milk the feeling like, oh, I really love doing this. I love PowerPoint presentations. That was really good. I really created that and designed it really well. And Jack was here today. Oh, the day went by so fast. I love what I do. I love my job. You have to fall in love right now. <laughs> You have to be happy in order to get more happy. You gotta find some good. This is why they tell you in church, when praises go up, blessings come down, even in your so-called shitty job, when you're sick and tired of being sick and tired of working for somebody else, you gotta find the good. You gotta find it. You gotta find it. Cause it's hard for you to leave energetically when you focus on that negative. Because what happens if you do that, then you're gonna go to another job. And it's going to be shitty too because you never really dealt with yourself. No, everywhere you go, you're going to find you. So you might as well deal with you while you with you wherever you are right now because you can't run from you. What, you really, what I'm really saying is you're not going to ever run away from your thoughts. If you think things about people out there is messy and shitty and this is a boss that I can't stand and he's racist and he ain't no good and this and that the third on this job. Guess what? When you go to this job, there's going to be a racist and it's going to be shitty and it's going to be messy. The characters are going to change because you never change, God. Life is happening through you, God. And so this is why it's so important for you to find the good. It's so important for you to find the love right now. <laughs> yeah, because as within, so without. So you got to find that thing. You got to find what's good about the job right now. I, don't, I mean, we could do Jack, we could do the PowerPoint presentation, we could do how much you get paid an hour, we can do how convenient it is, you know, to get to work, we could do the breaks that you could possibly get, we can do the volunteer hours that you can get and go help the people in the community, we could do whatever it is, but we need to do some love about it, because that's how you get delivered from it. Love heals all, remember that in the biblical text, love heals all. I remember at this particular job, not the last job that I had, because in this particular job of 22 years, I moved to different departments, all right? I was in customer service, you know, at the formal center. You know, I was executive assistant. I, 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 I was a service operator doing dispatch for the linemen. And I was a transmission engineer in, um, in engineering, right? So before I became the last position, I was a service operator. And I got that particular job doing a re -arc. Oh, it was so shitty to me. Oh, I wasn't conscious right there, all the way right there. I was exploring. I was getting to know myself, but I wasn't just, I wasn't there just yet. And so it was so shitty to me because I had just got a degree, my second degree, right? My second degree and the company does a re -org, and the company put me in construction with linemen. Now here I am, I got a degree, hip eagle eagle, I got a degree. I want to be in a corporate building. How dare they put me there? I don't want that job, is what I said. And at that time in my journey, I would have to leave my boys. They were younger then. I would have to leave my boys at home. Normally, I was the mother that made sure that they got to school. I was the mother because my husband was going to work way earlier. So I was the mother that had to send them to school. And I love that. I love wishing them a good day. I love hugging them. I love, I love seeing them off. I love being present in their life. But on that job, after they did the real, I couldn't do that. I had to leave before my boys in that bothered the hell out of me. Me leaving my boys at home to tend to themselves, asking the neighbors, could you make sure my baby get on the bus? Could you call me? Me traveling farther. Now I got a degree, not two. Two degrees. I'm in, in construction with a degree. <laughs> Leaving my babies behind. It's dark still I, at night. I gotta get up early. I gotta travel farther to go out here to this shitty place that I didn't want to be. I'ma just be honest. They know it. <laughs> and I will cry every morning. And I didn't put on no makeup, no lipstick, no nothing. I was just raw when I went to work because I knew when I got to this particular exit that all of my makeup anyway was going to be washed off with my tears because I cried every morning about how shitty it was. Every morning. I remember going to the job a little early, sitting in the car while it was still dark before any of the linemen came there. And I was 
hitting my, my steering wheel saying, why did you bring me here, God? The hell is going on? Did I deserve this here? All of my hard work of going to school, being a mother, and, and going to school and getting a degree, and you allow this to happen to me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was a victim, y'all. I, I played a good victim, yeah. This is why I encourage other people, don't be no damn victim. No, you God. You creating this thing. You have to deliver yourself from hell. And so I got tired. See, sometimes things in life get you to a position where you just get tired and being tired is beautiful because it quickens you to want to do something with yourself. And because I got tired one day, I decided, you know, I'm going to put some makeup on. And when I get to such and such exit, it's going to still be there. I'm going to do something different. You know, I cried my little tears out. I don't already, I already pushed myself away from all of the people. The people know that I don't want to be there. But I'm going to do something different today. I'm going to put my makeup on and I'm, I'm going I'm to dress like I used to dress. Because I had started wearing jeans and tennis shoes. I was going to a construction yard. <laughs> you know, maybe I need to dress like a little tomboy, I was saying. You know, but I decided, you know, I'm going to put some makeup on. I'm going to dress like I used to dress because I used to dress so professional. Because I knew in my mind I was going places, you know. So I'm going to act again like I'm going places. And that I really like this thing. And I said that morning to my higher self. You know, I don't know why I'm here, but okay, okay, I'm here, and I'm going to make the best out of this situation. I'm going to love anyway, and I'm going to do my damn best at this job because I got to be here for a reason. Starting today, these tears are done. I'm done with the tears. I'm going to allow. I'm going to surrender. And so what I did after that point was the very thing that was in me, I gave. You see, life happens through you, not to you. And all that I had in me was like knowledge of consciousness, knowledge of health and wellness, knowledge of meditation. So these men, these grown men, I pulled them in the back for the morning sunrise meeting and I would sit there and I would teach them about meditation. I would tell them, Everybody stand up and put your hand around yourself and then I will speak life unto these grown men in the morning, right? Yeah, this is, this is what I had. So I gave them what I had. This was how I expressed my love, like, right? And so I will go on my dime. I will go to Walmart. I will go to Whole Foods store and I will buy them exotic fruit and things. And I will teach them about pink Himalaya sea salt, different citrus fruits. I will teach them about the so-called protein because a lot of them will come to me for like vitamin C little supplements and things and, and, and painkillers for their head and things, right? So I started to teach them about health and wellness because it was inside of me. And so this is my way of just finding my happy here. Finding something good right here where I am. Doing team building exercises right here. Getting on the volunteer council and doing things in the community to rebuild houses right here. And I remember like it was yesterday. Since I had found my happy, since I had found my love, since I had found something that made me get in alignment, I get a call. While well, we in the back doing team building exercise, playing football, playing basketball that I coordinated for these grown men to get to know each other and to have happiness and to find joy. I get a call that says, oh, oh, we, we want to offer you this position in corporate America. So you got to be happy now for you to move to your next place in life. So I'm not telling you something that I didn't go through. I'm not telling you something that I don't know about the shitty moments. I know about this. I live this. I know about those negative emotions and they ain't gonna get you nowhere but right where you are. It's gonna give you more of that shittiness. But when you change your mind, your whole life gonna change. When you decide to be loved because you are loved, then you're gonna get more of it. You're gonna get those blessings that you long for for a long, long time. Day in and day night and day out, they were on your mind and you wanted to know how to obtain them. How you obtain them is you get in alignment with them. You feel good, you find the good. You find the good in the shitty situation. This is what we're supposed to be doing with everything because we are master manifestors. And we 
even in the darkest of time, should learn how to see even in the darkness. We, in the most painful of situations, should be able to find ease in the pain. Because we are manipulating energy, thought by thought by thought, spoken word by spoken word, <laughs> feeling by feeling. It's all a manipulation of energy. You're going to be doing it all of your life in every realm. You might as well learn it here. Because they talk about the so-called 5D and, and they talk about this other reality in parallel universes. Baby, what do you think we're going to be doing in those universes? The same thing at a higher level. So this is like class. You better learn how to use your superpowers now. It's, it's almost like being in kindergarten. You got to learn how the alphabet first in order for you to be able to put the words together to get to another grade level. It's no different. With your spiritual journey, it's no different. It all matters because it's all evolving you back to God. You done did it already. You just got to remember why you did it while you on the rise. Because you can't be down here. At least you were up here already. So on your journey, you're learning to manipulate energy to get back to the throne of God. That's it. <laughs> Play with it. It's the game of life. You asked for it because you knew it would be exciting. You already energetically knew that you were everything and at the same time being no thing. So you knew that you would never be able to get it wrong or you wouldn't get lost in the sauce, so supposedly. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. So. Come on, somebody. Truth. Okay, okay. I just wanted to share that with you all. Same script, different cast. Yep. You're right about that. And this is why I love you with the love of the universe. Oh, thank you. My life shall be amazing. Oh, I like that. My life shall be amazing. See, that's manipulating the energy. That's casting a spell. <laughs> My life shall be. Yeah, hey, Miss Being So. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's me. That's me. Um, Zara. Yeah. I love your voice. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. We'll do. Yeah. Yeah. That's me. So good to see you. Yeah. I missed you uh, last week. You must have been asleep. I came on really, really late. Miss being so. But yeah, I needed this powerful. Hey, Miss Nubian. Okay. So that was just of the video. I wanted to encourage you all to don't forget. Be inspired. Don't forget that how you feel matters. And I know whatever your situation is, I know, I know, I know. It might feel shitty, baby, right now. But you just go to the shitty uh, season because greatness is on the other side. Yeah, yeah, you gotta find the good. You gotta find, my life is abundant. Yes, it is, James. You gotta find the good. You gotta speak that word. Speak over your life. Speak over your life. Find the good. Stop giving your attention to those things that may seem shitty. It may seem shitty to me when, you know, when they was re and everybody in the company was posted for a job. You know, I, I couldn't get one at the time. Nope. And I had my whole degree. That might seem shitty that I went to construction. Yep. It, it, it was shitty to me in the beginning until I got my mind right and I stopped becoming the victim and I found my happy and I used my knowledge and what I had in that space in time. And what happened, my gift made room for me. Yeah. Hey, 504. Thank you for being here. My gifts made room for me. Now I speak. I do consultations. I have my own website. Now I can do everything that I love in a larger audience. Like, right? I travel. <laughs> I do consultations. I, I could have asked for nothing better. And that same degree that I was tripping over using, I, it's, it's in the room. Anybody want it? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Anybody want that? I we go white out my name and I can put your name in monotype cursive and I'll only charge you half off because I really don't care about that because now in my journey, all that matters is how I feel and me being in alignment with my passion and my purpose, me being able to inspire people. Yeah. 
yeah, do them anything for transmission or engineering that, 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 that wasn't my passion. So now I'm in love with my passion and I'm going with my flow. And when I get in love with my passion, it opens up so many doors for me. When I'm in love, more love pours on me. More greatness comes upon me. <laughs> because when I'm in love, it's equivalent to me just being thankful and me being praised, so to speak, right? And when praises go up, my blessings, more abundance come down to me. And I'll be like, oh, okay, more. <laughs> it's like the universe is saying, give her more. She's happy. Give her more. She's excited. Give her more of that love right there. Give her more people that want to consult with her. Give her more people that want to order from her website. Give her more viewers on TikTok. Give her more. Yeah. Give her more viral videos so her name can get out there. Give her more. Let her phone just blow up all night long so she have to put it on silent. Give her more. Give her more subscribers to her YouTube channel so she's putting out more material. Give her more. Yeah, because she's happy. Give her more. Give her all the desires of her heart. She's in alignment with her higher self. Give her more. But if I was down there on the shitty frequency, the universe would be saying, give her more of the shittiness. Give her more of the shittiness because the blessings of God Oh yeah, it ain't man. And it goes according to how you feel. Now you feel what you want more of. That's what you do, God. And so shall it be. So anyway, I'm about to go take me a ride. I don't know where I'm going, but I did all of my business work and I wanted to come on live. And I already worked out and everything. I like to go sometimes and just, I don't know, turn the music on and just ride. And maybe I'll meet somebody that I need to talk to which happened last time but I'm gonna go and explore I'm gonna be like a little child I'm gonna be inquisitive here and I want to explore and I want to find good and I'm and I want to go sit and watch some hummingbirds and I want to hear the regular birds chirp in the trees at the park and I want to listen to the soothing sound of the waterfall yeah I'll go find my good and I suggest you get up and go find you some good too okay <laughs> All right, let's see. Anybody else said anything? Yes, do the thing. I am. I'm about to go do the darn thing. This video was from my heart to yours, baby. Be blessed. Do -do -do.